All right, today we're gonna to take a look through the Mount Everest tiny house. This was the first model that we actually ever built as a company. It's uh, one of our favorite models and one of our customers' favorites as well. Here we go. Um, this home features cedar, um, tongue and groove exterior, um, residential windows throughout as well. And of course, like all our homes, this home can be hooked up and towed down the road like a standard RV. They all have um, electric trailer brakes as well um, that can be controlled inside the vehicle with a brake controller. Um, additionally, this home has 30 amp service. Um, just hook up, no problem. Uh, there's your three inch straight drain, gray and black water combined. Um, additionally, here's your water hookup. Just RV style water hose, and you're good to go. Um, the home is fully mobile on wheels built to the RV code. Um, this home features a three foot deck on the end as well. Um, perfect for sitting outside, you know, maybe a little entryway to kind of take off muddy shoes or wet clothes so you don't have to uh, get the inside of your home all dirty. And go inside and go ahead and take a look here. Here. This home comes in about 250 square feet, um, including both lofts. This home has uh, your main sleeping loft as well as an additional loft for storage. Um, both accessible by a ladder hanging on the bar here. Um, additionally, this home has the uh, cedar interior as well. Really nice smelling, um, real bright. Adds a lot of light in here with all these windows and things like that. Um, this model home does feature a convertible table right here. This folds down, it also folds up as well um, to give you a little more space to eat or work or do whatever. As we come into the kitchen, we have white beadboard cabinets throughout, as well as 3CM uh, granite countertops and a glass tile backsplash. Um, residential sink, real deep, lots of room, uh, stainless steel fixtures, um, as well as an electric cooktop. Additionally, this one has a smaller under-the-counter refrigerator. We can do larger units as well. That's just what we currently have in this home. This home also has a 10 gallon electric hot water heater. This home currently runs off a of 30 amp service. Um, larger homes with more appliances and things like that would be a 50 amp, but this one, since it doesn't have too many large appliances and it doesn't have too big of a draw, we can go 30 amp. And as we go right here into the bathroom, bathroom RV style ceramic toilet. Um, very nice, very uh, high efficiency toilet, um, towel bar, 36 inch uh, fiberglass shower, one piece, um, it's not going to leak, not going to have any issues with it, um, real sturdy shower. As we go out here, um, this home also features a couch with storage underneath it as well. Um, that is an optional feature, it's not required. Um, additionally, here is the heating source. It's cadet style wall heater with a thermostat um, and a small space like this heats it up real well. We got R11 insulation in the floor and ceiling and walls. Um, that helps the home stay real nice and tight. Um, as well as the residential windows, dual pane, argon filled uh, low E windows. Those are real nice for when it gets cold, keeping the warmth in. Up here in the loft, uh, we have a loft large enough to fit a California king size mattress. Currently it has a queen size mattress up here. And as you can see, plenty of room to move around, do whatever. You got 48 inches of uh, headroom in here, so you don't have to worry about bumping your head or anything like that. Um, as we look around here, another view of the storage loft over there. Uh, plenty of space to store, you know, clothes or gear or whatever you may have in your home. Um, additionally, this home has a single light French door. Um, help, it's awesome for adding a lot of light. It's got built-in blinds as well. Um, you know, a great door all around. Um, additionally, the flooring in this home, it's a commercial grade laminate plank, um, real durable, real long lasting, and as you can see, um, we've had a lot of home shows and things like that, the flooring has held up extremely well, we're very happy with the flooring, and that is our Mount Everest tiny house thing.